a story with the help of this calendar. A calendar has a page for every month of the year and a numbered space for every day of the month. It's great for checking what day it is and how much time has passed. The story starts on the first day of the hot month of August, when the farmer starts gathering his crops with the help of four friends. Well, we go to the in the early morning, and we skip the two as we pick corn. We pick some corn. Every time the pig tries to stop, he flops, right? If by flop you mean he falls down on his bottom, yes, we stop, he flops. I'm beginning to think the pig's picking less corn than everybody else, but I got no way to be sure. I got a big problem. Actually, farmer, when you need to know if he's doing his share, you can go see Dolan. the piles of corn we three picked and compare them to the pig's pile to see who picked more. One, One two, two, three, four. We each picked four. But the pig just picked one. The pig picked less than the rest of us, all right. I knew it. The farmer wanted to tell the pig to work harder, but when they found him in the barn, he was... Fast asleep. On his triangular bed of hay with his flower... And his triangles. That pig just keeps falling down and taking naps. But we're all counting on his help. Working with the pig was a really big problem. Peg and Cat spent the rest of August trying to get the pig to work harder. They tried to inspire him with books, educational television. Nothing worked. Then, on the first day of the next month, September, they had a visitor from the Silver Square Opera Company in the big city. We're always looking for new singers, and just now I heard a voice that made me tingle. The only one who sings opera around here is the pig, but he'd never leave the farm to join the opera. There are some very nice benefits to being an opera star. Opera stars get lots of stuff. One, two, three, four, five flowers. Five is greater than the one he has now. Said Peg, using that opened mouth shape that means greater than. The pig would have more flowers. He'd even have more triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six triangles. More than the one, two, three he has now. The pig does love triangles. But he'd never get up and... Whoa! Was the pig drawn to fame and fortune or that triangle dangling from the back of the truck? You never can tell with the pig. Whatever the reason, the pig was off for the big city. So it seemed their really big pig problem was solved. Or was it? As September passed, Peg and Cat gathered corn with the farmer's new helper, the hog. The 16 we picked today is more than the 13 we used to pick with the pig. More corn makes me mighty happy. Me too. But Peg and Cat didn't seem quite as happy. One, two, three sides. His bed will be nice and neat for him when he comes back. Towards the end of September, the weather cooled down. The leaves turned different colors. Peg and Cat kept expecting the pig to come back, but he didn't. By the next month, October, the farmer was getting concerned. Are y'all picking less corn than you used to? The 12 we picked today is less than the 16 we picked last week, said Peg, drawing the opened mouth shape the other way so it means less than. It's even less than the 13 we used to pick when the pig was here. You're picking less than you did with the pig? Well, I don't understand. Cat and I are slowing down, because, well, we, we missed, missed the, the pig. pig! The way he used to sing and flop. <laughs> I need my daily dose of pig! Working without the pig was going to be a really, really, really big problem! problem.